Hey everybody, welcome back to Star Trek Online. My friend John is trying to get through the vault and he's having some problems and well, to be honest with you, so did I. So, I played the vault a long time ago and they made a lot of changes. So, when I played through the episode with Torque, I had a lot of issues with it. Um, and it, it took a while to figure it out. And so, uh, now I'm going to go back and play with, it, with him again. Um, I just played it again, actually, first, I should tell you. And, uh, again, the very beginning, I was confused on some things. And then uh, we have the, um, what is it, um, uh, inside the vault that I was confused on some things. And then I found out, oh my gosh, two ships. So I blew up over and over again on the first ship they had. Dude, I want to tell you right away, it's the second ship you can destroy. You do not want to try to destroy that first ship. And I think uh, when I went through Torque the first time with it, that was an issue. So let's go ahead and press L. Find the Romulan mission. Uh, Romulan mystery. Go down to the vault. And there it is. Replayable. Um, so uh, the mission that uh, Darkness Before Dawn looks like the mission that's the vault. So... I actually um, originally thought that we couldn't replay this, but this vault is playable again. So I'm wondering if I forgot that a long time ago or if that's something that I did a long time ago, and I, I don't know. So let's go ahead and uh, accept this. Let's go ahead, accept this mission. One of my issues with this mission is these, uh, these weapons bind on character and pick up, and they're only a level. So what they're trying to do is force you to use your dilithium to level them up. Um, I would just sell them, um, is what I think I would do. Um, this is, well, this is character buy and pick up. Character, that's not. So, actually, if you get these things, they are not character bound on pick up. And this is, but apparently these cans are not. So they'll, they're, you can actually store them in the fleet bank for people who are beginning characters. So I'm going to do that. I just don't know which one I want to get. That means I made a mistake the first time. So I'm going to accept this mission. And last time I did this, I got this a little while ago. So let's go ahead and look at the mission uh, requirements. I've turned the sound down. So speak to this person. Um, and that's him right over there. So again, we are in, let's see here, galaxy map. Uh, Earth space dock is right there. We're in Starbase 39 Sierra right there. Let's go talk to this guy um, Can I shrink this down? I can't Yeah, we'll go talk to this guy real quickly and leave this up. It'll be quicker All right, he's gonna tell us a whole lot of stuff. No more questions uh, He tells us to head to the shipyard and request a shuttle and we are just talk to a certain person there so uh Notice here, right here on the mission, it did. It said, speak to this person that I told you about and then talk to the shuttle information officer. We don't have to play. If we've beaten this mission already before, we don't have to do this already. So I don't want to confuse you. If you haven't completed this mission yet, it might confuse you. So I'm going to run through this part because I've completed it. I don't have to. And if you've completed it, you don't have to. But for those of you that have not completed this before, you will have to do this because they want to make sure you have a shuttle not to confuse you. Um, and I believe that the first time I played this, this, this was an issue. And then a long time ago, the second time I played this, it was an issue. Um, and then, of course, I've had nothing but issues past this point on that. So real quickly, I think looking at this mission the first person you talk to in the vault speak to this person lieutenant commander lieutenant commander apparently she has a different name now they haven't changed the game text and i've noticed in game in several missions they have not changed the in game text in fact actually if you look in green the green down here it says uh, speak with this person but this i don't know her name there is different so i don't know where this DeSoto is um, I believe you have talked to this person. I could be wrong because it's completing the mission without me. So this here, you have this person, that person. None of them, I believe, are named by that name. So I believe it's this person you have talked to. And then, oh, and it probably is 
because this was probably a dude, but because of stupid ass gender swapping bullshit, they gave it a chick's face and they changed her freaking name. And they probably demoted him and fire him, you know, because we want to make female politics and female genders equal kind of crap. I'm so glad I hang around right with smart, intelligent women that are not full of that bullshit and that think, and that, you know, really will insult this worse than I will, will because they're women. Uh, but anyway, moving on. Uh, again, uh, you want to go talk to this cat person here. This is the shuttle information person that's part of this mission. Uh, again, if you've already collected the shuttle or already gotten a free shuttle, you probably don't have to do that. So I want you to know that in the beginning of this episode. So we've done that already. We've talked to this. We've gotten a free shuttle. Uh, she will actually send us over here. Uh, if you haven't gotten your free shuttle to this person to rec rec uh, to get one, uh, the ship and shuttle rec requisition, I'm butchering that now. Um, definitely remember, uh, recommend unselecting everything but shuttles. Uh, I will say you can get this shuttle here. It's Type 8 shuttlecraft for free. Um, you can purchase a Degla shuttle. I recommend you at the very least you do that. Now you have the ability to also get apparently the uh, Romulan shuttles. Um, if you have a lifetime subscription, the captain's yacht is what I would recommend. Um, this is also, oh, let's see, why is that? Hmm. So apparently I have a free token for this. I don't understand why. Um, oh, I think I know why. Um, also, the Class F shuttle is available if you go to the Z store here. You have to go to the bundles, uh, ship bundles. It is not in this, oh, it is in this one. 23rd Century Packet will have that. It also, for your Constitution Old School ships, will have a different interior for you. Um, do not be confused with the Time bundle. There's another bundle around here somewhere. Uh, the Enterprise Bundle, there's that there. You can also get this ship, uh, which is a Lieutenant Level Starship. Um, ah, this is the packet. Um, these ship interiors, these old school 20, 30, 20th, 3rd century ships, have a different interior than the original uh, interior I showed you from that other pack. So let's go ahead. Um, I do recommend, again getting the Delta Flyer. If you get a lifetime subscription, you'll get uh, 500 Dilithium a free, sorry, 500 Zen a free every month, so I highly recommend that. It's well worth it. Uh, this is from the Disgracery series, which isn't real Star Trek, so let's go ahead and not talk about that crap. Um, I will go here. I want to mention one thing before you, well, two things now, before we beam up to our ship. Uh, make sure you select the small craft here or you will not be able to enter the vault. Oh no, you can, but I think you have to fight the ships. I'm not entirely sure what happens there. But I want to make sure you mention that. Also, I have nothing in the dry dock. So I just have my one shuttle. Okay, so with that, guys, let's go ahead and go on this mission. All right. Let's uh, make sure you don't actually uh, hit that again. I've had it re-enter there so many times. Here we are in our shuttlecraft. We're going to go ahead and enter that uh, warp speed and head to that mission. Ooh, gotta love this. All right, guys, the vault. It, part of the Romulan mystery. Um, real quickly, I'm going to go ahead and hit my ships back. Um, so real quickly, there are very confusing parts of this episode. So I'm playing engineer and I have a choice here. This is a uh, science and tactical idea. There's also an engineer idea. I'm going to go ahead and hit this, consult with my person here. Nebula is not what I want to do here. This is the engineering option. Um, so let's go ahead and look at my main map over here is where I have to travel to. So let's go ahead, travel that direction. Oh, 
I can't see it very well on my mini map. It's covered up. We're in a full impulse, so we're traveling at good speed. Make sure we're heading that direction. We do not want to be seen by... Oh, there it is. Let's go ahead and full stop. Uh, scan large asteroid. Make sure there's no ships around us. There we go. All right, there's a bird. There's something coming this way. I'm gonna fire my. Oh, there's something. Oh, no, it's just the asteroid. I'm gonna fire my weapons real quickly. All right, that's all I had to do. Now, these other missions are optional, but it's not really for a. Uh, they're not for tactical officers. Officer. I can go scan them, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to enter full impulse here. I'm going to try to avoid the other ships. Because they will start firing me, and I will not do good. So I'm at full, no, full impulse again. Let's keep that going. Getting closer here. I believe by destroying the asteroid, it brings all of the attention of the uh, Romulan Warbirds. So now I'm close enough to the vault, the vault where I can enter the station. Here I go. All right. So this is a pr the first stage of it inside the vault, which my friend was having problems with. And so he hasn't been to the rest of it. And so I highly recommend going through this video. I'm going to do it pretty quickly. Um, because I just played this. I knew I was going to have problems with it. And I knew that I'd have to come over here. Let's go ahead real quickly. I'm being caught by a tractor beam. Oh, screw that. Where's that weapon? I have Ford phasers. I'm going to take care of that real quickly. There we go. Let's take care of the tractor beam. All right. There we go. So this is what I did here on my ship. I want to look at that. So you can see I have a single beam and a dual beam. The dual beam's arc is 90. The uh, the single beam is a, uh, has an arc of 250, which means that it can always fire. Now here's, to be honest with you, sometimes it's best I feel to come in here with two uh, single beams rather than dual beam. But I played this before, so I know what I'm expecting. And I kind of want those four beams. I'm coming here with another cheat as well, a point defense system. I'll show you guys that later, but let's go ahead and continue here real quickly, and we're close enough. Let's oh, hit the wrong button. Uh, all right, so we're up close here, and I had brought had brought up this ability scan bulkhead door. All right, talk to this person. Scan turret. All right, that's good. And then it says um, try security key. Well, we don't have that yet. Put that in there. What the heck? Hey guys, so this is um, uh, the last time I played through the vault. And what I realized through this was that there was more than one way to play through the vault. And more than one, I guess, episode mission list in the vault. So um, this is the one where it actually has a password and codes that you have to discover. My friend John was having problems with this, like where do you get these passcodes? So um, if you look up here, up here in the vault area, um, it's actually, you know, here I got the first code here. And then um, see here, the, uh, there are two arrows up here, actually there's three. And uh, if, I, if I zoom in here in the map in here, there are three different areas where you have to go to get the other parts of this code. But again, I was I remember this is what, what I played first when I played this uh, Star Trek Online, the vault, the first time through. Uh, I do love these impulse engines. I'm going to try to turn down the speed. Um, so again, these uh, particular codes are located somewhere, and I... See here, up there, right there, you can see like there's little boxes um, of storage compartments, I think they are. That's where we can get one of the codes at. Or actually, it's more like one of the pieces of the code. Um, again, so that, okay, so that unlocks a second code right there. Uh, and we need to collect all four pieces. And again, this is what really surprised me, that there was uh, more than one way of playing the vault uh, or mission list. Let's see, it's around here somewhere. Uh, again, it's been a long time. I remember when I first played it, I did this one. 
when I needed the four different things. And I think I noticed throughout the years um, when I played it here and there uh, that there was more than one. Okay, look at this. Um, we have to go up higher. We're too low. That's what the arrow means in the mini map there. Um, oop, running, running into the side. Um, but again, I'm just uh, trying to show you how and where to find all these things because uh, the last time. Oh, hang on here. Mini map. All right, so. All right, let's go ahead and try to find the other one. I'll get that one here in a second. Um, again, it's it's really kind of a surprise here. Okay, yeah. Oh no, there it is. I was too high. That's what it was. I have to go lower. That's what it said means in the mini map. So right there, you can see it, and it looks like. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. All right, so we're moving closer. We won't do full impulse in here right now, and. Where is the... I bet I'm not close enough. I think. Let me go ahead and... Yeah, let's move forward a little bit here. Um... There it is. Alright. Let's do this. Um, the problem with full impulse is you just start blasting forward. So I'm going to try to... Do full impulse. Try to get slightly where I need to be. Okay, it's. And then I pressed. Uh, I think it's R. Yeah, press an R to. It still has all engines, all power to engines, but now I'm only going up like part part of the speed. So that's a, that's a good way to move faster. Um, okay, we have to go down lower. But again, I, it was a long time ago that I first played this. Oh, wait a minute. Um, let's see here. Oh, Hail Shuttle. I think this particular one moves around. Um, I don't see... Where is it? Oh, I accidentally hit the wrong button there. Hmm... Okay. Hail Station Inhabitants. That's what we need. Alright, go through these questions. I'm just kind of like hitting things. Hail Shuttle then. Nope, nothing there. Alright, here we go. Let's try this one. Um, or maybe not. Um, yeah, okay. Here, here. Uh, thank you for the information. All right. I think that gave me the final code. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I get, that's where you find the four codes. But again, you guys got to remember that in the vault, there are more than one di different, um, uh, I guess, puzzles to the vault. Um, and that, again, this is the one I played first when I first played Star Trek Online. And then I think I remember going through it again like, wait, this isn't right. What's going on here? But I just wanted to play this, show this to you guys to you, and then I'll show it to you here as well. So here we go. We're going to do this, and that's going to open up the door. So with that, guys, we're done with this. I'm going to go back to my previous game and play through. All right, that apparently is fine. Okay, let's go through here. So this part is easy, and now I might have, might be attacked here. Oh, full stop. So these things are causing me damage. I'm gonna go ahead, shoot them real quickly. Oh, make sure your power's uh, on your weapons. It'll go faster. Full power forward. And I mean attack there. All right, notice I've really been taken down real quickly. I want to get a range. I want to do this quickly for you guys. I'm in range. I'm firing. And also using my point defense system. Oh, dude. I'm... Oh, crap. So that kind of sucks. I screwed up already. What the heck? All right, let's go backwards. I think I was being hit by a tractor beam, I don't see. So don't be too close to the ground, apparently. I'm gonna turn all my power to my engineering to pay, repair my damage. All right, 
Alright, let's get all my shield faces healing. So... Again, I just went through this and I already had one issue with it. Um... So here's the board cube I need to scan. So here is the second doorway. Do full impulse. It's opened up right away for me. That's interesting. So I'm going to go through here so I don't have... Oh. Tractor beams. Make sure your weapons are at full power. And remember, the tractor beams can actually cause damage to your ship, so you want your shields up there, too. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna enter full impulse. And... I thought I was gonna be attacked again. So I, I want to tell you that coming through here a second time in a row... I feel as if there is a different interior than the first one. Yeah, there I must be. I didn't have to do that first part. I'll use the diplomacy through here if I have it. Um, I believe diplomacy is rated by your skill uh, right here. I think. Um, but anyway, we've done that. Now our job is to escape. I'm wondering if I've already forgotten so much. See, so your research data. I don't know what that is. I'm going to try to get closer. So I'm going to... Last time I was in here, I didn't grab this research data. Torpedoes. I don't see anything for optional missions or do this. I almost feel like this is old school. I know these are the old uh, templates that we used to be able to use. So I'm grabbing these guys. I have no idea this is new or old or what this is for. This was not in here, I believe, last, or I didn't see it last time I was in here. And I'm not seeing this as mission requirements. So this is a big question mark on the episode. I almost want to think this is old stuff because I, I do think I've done it before, like I remember it, but not last time I was in here. So. Let's go ahead and take care of this real quickly. So that's the tractor beam. This is the door lock. One shot gets me through. And we're set. I almost feel like they changed these doors too. I felt the last time I played through. Full impulse. We have to escape. We are going to be attacked. So this I was expecting. So let's go ahead and take care of these guys. Tractor beam. That's one. So remember, they can cloak as well, and it makes them be more to be more of a pain in the butt because they're cloaking. But I like having the tractor beam because it really stops them and makes me able to hit. Okay, come on, and they can't cloak. So this guy, is, this may take you a little time through. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead. I have it. Tractor beam. Now. Oh, crap. I hit my point defense later in laser. So anyway, if you're level 65, if you're lower level, that's going to be easier. So level 65, I have other abilities that I can use. Let's go ahead and transfer power to shields. 
Get those shields up again. And we'll enter full, full in uh, impulse. Um, oh, make sure I turn my weapons up. They're attacking me again. I don't have my point defense lasers. I'm going to do a tractor beam. Firing again. Tractor beams ready to go. Gotta get in range first. I really try to get as much of my four beams as possible on him as a target so I can get him the first round. There we go. Full impulse again. Where is that set last prick at? There he is. So I'm going to lower my speed a little bit. So I'm going to keep my four weapons on him. That's why I bring the dual beams in here. So even without a tractor beam, I can do good enough damage. Alright, full impulse. Our full power engines. Let's go ahead and put full power to uh, that, uh, to uh, shields. I will be putting all my... Uh, all right, more damage, more power engines. I will be using the tractor beam and point defense system. All integrity below 75%. All right, it disappeared. There he is. There we go. See how the point sit defense system really does work. There we go. But also, so does the tractor beam. Full stop. And tractor beam. I got him with my four weapons, which are my dual beams. So that's taking out the damage I really want. All right, we're going to grab this, although it's garbage. We don't need the other garbage. All right, so full power there. So. Guys, there are two ships in here. I'm talking starships in here. This is the first one. Do not fight it. I blew up like 15, 20 times thinking I could destroy this. Because I swear, the first time I played this originally, there was only one starship in here. So this is how I'm going to mess with this. Well, let's not turn that off. Press U. Go to stations. Go to small craft. I'm going to change from... Uh, from tractor beam to mask energy signature to protect myself. Then I'm gonna put that in my tray. Here it is. I'm grab that, put that right there. Mask energy signature. And then, well, uh, always lock your tray. Y'all know that, right? All right, full impulse. Um. Full powered engines. Actually, let's do 50 50. So, here is our heavy warbird. Now, if you're playing this on Lieutenant Commander level, you might be able to destroy this. I was. It took everything I had. Last time I played this at level 65, I didn't do that. But I also didn't use uh, that many of my uh, Admiral abilities. I wouldn't recommend it. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm right now almost in range. I am going to slow down. I'm going to decloak almost. And I'm going to freaking fire. One shot. I'm not even... Don't even have my weapons at full power. I am now going to enter full speed. Go through here. And I have more shuttles to fight. Weapons to full power. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use this ability. I am also going to use another Admiral ability, if I can figure out where it is. Ah, here it is. Let's use that. 
There it is. Slowing down my shit. There we go. I think that is all of them. I'm gonna distribute my shield. Go this way. Oh, oh, more. Where is he? Ah, oh, one left. One left. We probably cloaked. All right, let's go ahead. Little damage. Distribute shield. Get those, uh, put my full energy into my shield dis distribution and bring my shields back. Uh, I'm gonna mask energy signature here because I'm gonna try to skip by any of the fighters they have here. I don't recall if there are more. And full stop. Where am I? Ah, here we are. I'm gonna turn off mask energy signature. I am gonna go to my skills. Let's see here. Oh, don't wanna do that. Uh, no, I'm gonna press U. So there are several ways to take out the ship. Um, I could actually bring in a, let's hit our full stop right now. I could actually bring in a tactile officer, try to use uh, high yield torpedoes. Um, I could try also uh, try to use beam overload to get the shields down. Um, see here, another great idea is to jam it sensors. That's a big one I highly recommend. Jamming sen sensors, high yield, uh, excuse it. Um, uh, polarized hull plating. Uh, you can try to lower its shields down here. And I think that's what I'm gonna attempt to use this time through. I also recommend the tractor beam because uh, you can hold it, hold, it, hold it steady and fire on only one shield face. So I'm going to try this guys. So let's go ahead here and bring this out down. Let's bring this here. Let's go ahead and unlock this tray. Uh, where's the ability I want? There you go. We're going to hit this. Lock the tray again. Again, if you're, if you're a fleet atom or a level 65, use all your abilities if you have them. All right, here was what I'm going to do. I'm going to start heading this direction. There's the ship. It's a light warbird. All right. When I get in range, I'm going to hit my bet. Oh. Full stop. Turn your weapons up all the, all the way. I forget to do that so many times. All right, I'm hitting my battery. Now I'm using my Titan, Typhon's Rift thing and lowering shields down and firing my weapons and I'm going to hit my point defense lasers. I'm targeting it. Let me hit with this, there it goes. It's going there. C1, C2, C3. There we go. And boom. We're done. I did not even have to use this ability or the other ability that I think disappeared. I also can cloak my ship, put shields up around myself or something that uh, keeps my shields up, but I'm gonna do that real quickly. And my engineer ability, I'm not, I didn't have to use neither. So that's great. So now we're just gonna go ahead and go to the exit, full impulse, and we're gonna work on the end of this. Let's do this. Exit. Alright, let's go ahead and do this the easy way. Um, well, we'll do it without that. I should be able to take care of it with my point defense system. Um, this is why I want the... There we go. That's nice to know. Boom. Alright, let's take care of the shuttle. Come on. I'm taking out care of this the easy way. Remember to have your tractor beams when you come in here. All right. I have full another one to take care of. There it is. Um. C four.
Where is it? Did it cloak? No. No, oh, there it is. Some of these these pain in the butts can cloak. There it is. All right. So now we don't need want that really or that really. So that ship has been destroyed. The Romulan warbird has now been destroyed, and the Galaxy class ship is hailing us. All right. I don't like the body armor. So leave the system and return to the star base, 39 Sierra. Don't forget that. Departing system. Let's actually enter full impulse. Hopefully I won't get a dud here. I'm gonna do this. Evasive maneuvers, I wanna get out of this. Come on. All right, departing system. All right, now our screen is clear. All right, guys, here we are in the Sierra Starbase 39. We're going to full impulse, and we're going to beam to the station when it gives us the opportunity. I love the extra boost of this when it's on a starship. It really hides the shuttle if I have it on this. All right, let's beam down. All right, guys, so remember... Um, it's interesting how this mission has several different interior, did several different things to it. A lot of changes with it as well. We're here at the Admiral's office. We're going to complete the mission by talking to this dude, which is the DeSoto guy. All right, mission is complete. However, Admiral uh, Vulcan Pants over here is, uh, and she was never changed. However, I think she was made to look younger and less Vulcan in some levels. So anyway, we're going down here, and I learned that these, this here, this beam is a, uh, it binds when pickup. This one here binds when pickup. This one here does not bind when pickup. So I'm gonna grab that, and it's just because I start with 12s, I put it in my fleet bank. So remember, at the end of this episode, um, also, oh, sorry, at the, at the end of this is you want to go ahead and activate your starship again by going to the uh, shipyard over here and doing that but let's go ahead and remember also that this mission has several different aspects to it the very first part you have to uh, get a new shuttlecraft you have to make sure that shuttlecraft is uh, is activated um, and you're going to that shuttlecraft um, definitely watch the very the very first six minutes of this video for more information there uh, if you're just walking in you need to like a recap and if you haven't played for a while also when you get to the uh, vault episode in that system if you're playing a science officer a tactical officer or an engineering officer you're gonna have a different beginning so and you're gonna want to hide I try to go in there with uh, mask energy uh, mask energy um, uh, and then uh, when you actually get to the vault inside the vault uh, apparently there can be different interiors for that um, as you guys know I I paused my video of this campaign to show the previous one I did which is actually where my friend John was having issues with it, and I've had issues with it in the past because I played this several times through and I almost feel like there were several different changes and if you guys remember let's go ahead and look in here I still have these templates right here I don't even know what they're for. These templates used to be part of the uh, R&D system long ago, and so actually, I believe they're left over from like, what are we like? We the 13th uh, anniversary, I think it was, or 12th anniversary. I'll have to double check, but I think these are 10 years old, and they they've forgotten about them in the game. So that's what I think they are. They're worth 5,000 energy credits. So hell, I'll sell them. Um, but I, they're not needed for the episode. Um, but really watch that beginning part of the episode, the two different inter, uh, starts of the episode that I've had, um, which I find very interesting because I, I think I remember it from long ago. Long, long ago, guys. Um, noticing this, but going through it once and going through it a second time, yeah, um, uh, it, it's brought back old memories. So uh, definitely um, pay attention to the two different intros there uh, remember as you go through the ship uh, as you're exiting you have two different ships in there I swear when I originally played this three years ago there was only one ship 
Um, and that last ship, destroy it if you can. I have destroyed the first ship, but it takes everything. And I think every single time I've blew it, blown up several times. So I'm going to bypass that every time I can remember oh, that there's more than one ship in there. And then there's the exit. Um, out, out, and when you're outside the, uh, outside the vault, you have a galaxy-class starship and you have a Romulan ship firing at each other. There are four ships. Remember to turn on your tractor beam. You, most of you will not have the point defense laser if you're beginning. Um, you want the tractor beam to hold the ship still. I would almost recommend going in there with, I mean, at the very least you need a single beam and a dual beam. A dual beam is great if you're ready. I almost like, I know, I think I did a long time ago, I recommended like two single beams. Um, I don't recommend going in there with single cannons. That's usually what I use here and have on these ships, but we're not going to, why didn't that not, why didn't that change? There it goes. Uh, I took that off my Galaxy Glass Starship. Um, I'll put this Polaron thing here as well. So just so you guys know, that's what I recommend. With that, guys, have a great day. And remember, the feminist movement is not for all men. Well, it's not for men. It sure as hell not for all women. Uh, but those men who do support it, I think they had their testicles removed. With that, guys, have a great day.